welcome to this Oxford eShop screencast. Within the next few minutes, I'll introduce you to one of the most exciting new features in Oxford eShop version 4.6 downloadable products. As the name indicates, this feature enables shop owners to sell virtual products such as digital downloads through Oxford eShop. So you're intrigued to know how it works, as well as what you need to do as an online merchant to enable this feature. First off, enable it via the administration panel. Log in and go to Core Settings, Settings, Downloadable Products, and enable the option. Now, adjust the folder location for downloadable products. You may provide a path to a folder outside the shop's installation directory. But remember, that this is only possible if your PHP server configuration allows it. If you want to upload your products via FTP, please use a special folder called Uploads to store your files. All file uploads via the admin panel will be stored with hash names in separate folders with encrypted names within the previously specified directory. The next fields in admin are reserved for other global options. The maximum count of downloads permitted, the expiration time of a download link, the expiration time after the first download, and the maximum count of downloads for non-registered users. Heads up, don't forget to save your work now. Once the settings are enabled, you can begin adding downloadable products. The process is similar to adding a real physical product, with some minor differences. Let's quickly walk through the steps. Assuming you want to add a music CD with several files available for download. First, add the new product and enter a title. A short description, keywords, maybe similar to tags, and a price. And don't forget to enter useful description for your product. Heads up, save your work now. Then in the extended tab, check intangible product and free shipping. Of course, you can replace the image placeholder with, let's say, a CD cover image. With Oxid eShop 4.6, you'll see that we have added a new tab named Downloads. The second step is to use this tab to upload the digital product file. In this first instance, I'm going to copy the MP3 file to the right place for FTP uploads. Copy the name of the file and enter it into the empty field in the admin panel. Check the option Download is available only after purchase, to assure that only orders paid for can be downloaded. By the way, the file size in brackets, like 10 megabytes in this case, is a server-dependent option. If you are not happy with the limit on your server, please talk to your hosting provider. Click on Other Options now to find the same settings as we previously saw in general options. You can now adjust this behavior for every single download file. By pressing the submit button, this file will be assigned to your product. Let's upload a file now via the admin panel. Click on choose file to upload it from your local directory. I am going for puppets on a string in this example and submit it. The next file is going to be Ignorance on Bliss. Submit it and you'll see three files assigned to our CD now. If something went wrong, these files can be unassigned again by deleting them. Let's enable the download for this product now, unless you want to calmly prepare your download products before they go live. The name of the first one we uploaded via file transfer is greyed out and not editable. But I can rename the next one that I uploaded 
via the admin panel. Okay, let's have a brief look at the file structure on the server. As you can see, new encrypted directories like 98 and AF have been made by the application. Digging a bit deeper, you'll find a file with a hashed name. We're all done with the administration section. It's time to put ourselves in the shoes of a visitor to the website and see the new feature in action. To do this, as a first step, go back to your store's homepage. Now use the on-site search for your new product number. Click Product Details to see the Product Details page. The next step is to add the item to the shopping cart and begin checking out. Please note the hint in red for the option Purchase without registration. Log in with your personal account now. To keep things simple for this screencast, I'll use Cash in Advance as my payment method. Proceed through the various checkout steps and confirm the order. At the end of the process, you should see the Thanks page. Once you're done, visit the My Account section. All purchased downloads will be stored here, in a section called My Downloads. Look in this section and you'll find a note that the order has not yet been completed. This is because when setting up the product, the purchased only feature was activated. Therefore, the download will only be available once the order is marked paid. When the shop owner checks the orders and marks the download order as paid by inserting the current date, the file will become downloadable by the purchaser. The shop owner can even send a new email with a notice that the customer's download is available now. If you, as the purchaser, check the My Downloads section again, you'll find the files are downloadable. As you can see, this new downloadable products feature enables many new business models for shop owners and merchants. You can offer any files you wish to download, including MP3 music files, videos, or software like apps or games. Thanks for watching this screencast and have fun with this new feature.